Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is The Rules to Magic. That's right, today in this video we're gonna look at the rules of magic. You're like, there are rules? Yes, there are rules, because you're a magician and a magician is all about keeping and retaining secrets. And so the rules to magic are to limit exposure. Now, what is exposure? Exposure is when uh, somebody figures out how a trick is done, okay? When the lay world figures out how a particular magic trick is done and exposure takes all shapes, all forms. And then, so the top three rules, the top three codes of conduct that we live by as magicians are to limit the amount of exposure out there in the world. All right, so you're ready for the rules? Number one, never tell how a trick is done. That is the first and foremost rule of magic. Never tell how a trick is done. Well, what if my mom asks? What if my sister asks? What if my best friend really wants to know? The number one rule of magic is never tell how a trick is done. Okay, never, ever. Well, what if they're another magician? Never tell how a trick is done. That's how it works. That's how it works, okay? Because it ruins the magic experience for you and your audience. People say they always wanna know how a trick is done, but they really don't. And once you tell them how it's done, you will let them down. And you've just exposed a magic trick to a person who's not a magician, okay? You need to find another way to get around that question. When people say, oh, tell me how it's done, you gotta think of another way to, to get out of that instead of just saying, no, no, no. Like you just, okay, you need to find a, a way around it. You think, oh, they'll be just as excited to learn the secret as I was? They won't be because they're not magicians or they won't understand it, okay? To pull back the curtain and reveal the secret, it doesn't help magic. You're a magician. Your job is to keep secrets. Your job is to retain and protect the art that you love. So you should do everything in your power to keep those secrets, okay? Magic is an art form and it's reserved for the people who have chosen to be magicians. And so your first duty is to protect that, okay? So never tell how a trick is done. Number two, never perform the same trick for the same audience. That means you show a trick to Billy on the playground and he says, come on, let's show it to Sally and the two of you run over and the, you show it to Sally but Billy gets to watch again? No. You never repeat the same trick for the same audience. Again, it's exposure, okay? Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the trick the exact same way, the way you did it before, with the same pattern, the same routines, and the people that watched it the first time, they're not gonna be looking where you told them to look. They're gonna be looking someplace else and they're gonna be watching for you to mess up. They're gonna be watching for those slights. They're not gonna watch your left hand anymore. Now they're gonna watch your right. And they're gonna pay very careful attention to the things that they missed the first time. When you repeat the same trick for the same audience, again, you are letting secrets out. You are exposing those secrets. When somebody says, hey, show me that again, you need to have another trick ready to go, okay? Most times when you perform magic, you should be doing at least three tricks. Okay? You should never just do one trick and that's done and I'm walking to class. Because you're always going to leave them wanting more. They're always going to be excited. They're always going to say, hey, do that again. So you would say, well, I won't do that one again, but here, let me show you something else. Okay? That's an easy way to move them off that topic. Sometimes you have to perform the same trick for the same person because you're practicing. Like I show my wife the same tricks over and over again because I'm practicing, but that's different, okay? If this is your audience, a good magician uses the same tricks but always finds a new audience. If your audience never changes, that means you need to find new tricks constantly, okay? And an easy way around that is to buy magic books. Magic books have hundreds of tricks in them. So if you're the kind of magician that has the same audience repeatedly, then you need to buy more books and less gimmicks. All right, and the third rule is practice, practice, practice. Why practice? Well, because again, if you're showing tricks before they're ready, if you're showing tricks before they're done, there's the possibility that you'll mess up. There's the possibility that you'll screw the trick up. And when you do that, you expose it. Never perform a trick that you don't know perfectly, okay? You practice a trick, you do it several times without making any mistakes. When you're just about sick of it, that's probably when you're ready to perform it. 
when you can perform it without shaking, when you can perform it without making mistakes, when you can perform it without dropping the cards, when you can perform it without looking down when you do the slight, that's a big one. Practice in front of a mirror. Practice until it's perfect, okay? It has to be perfect. If you don't practice, then you're gonna end up like these kids. Hi, ich bin's Michel und ich bin Sven und wir zeigen euch heute unseren ultimativen Trick. All right, that was a joke, but just practice, okay? You practice so that you don't expose magic. Alongside of that, let's just put that underneath, is you don't steal magic, okay? You don't download free tricks off the internet. That again is exposure, okay? Because you didn't pay for the right to have that trick. Some magician out there has created that trick to make money, of course, of course, and to broaden all of our magical experiences. When you steal that trick, you are diminishing the creative process that the inventors have, okay? Well, what if I trade a trick? What if I give him one and he gives me one? You're only trading if you no longer have the trick. In other words, if I have a video download and he has a video download and we swap videos, but then you keep the video that you traded, you didn't trade. You just stole a trick and he just stole a trick. That's not trading. And even if you really did trade, you would have to agree not to perform that trick ever again. If I'm gonna give you a trick and I'm giving it to you, then I can't perform it anymore, okay? That would be the right way to do it. The right way to do it is to purchase your tricks from a dealer, from a magic dealer, or from the internet, or if you sell those tricks, then you're agreeing that you're not gonna do it anymore. You shouldn't make money or profit off of another magician, right? And you shouldn't steal money from another magician. If you're stealing Daniel Madison's tricks or if you're stealing Jay Sankey's tricks, that means you don't like Jay Sankey. That means you don't like Daniel Madison. If you steal tricks from Penguin Magic or if you steal tricks from Illusionist, that means you don't like them because you've just stolen from them. You've taken money from the industry. You've taken money from those creators. So don't steal magic. There are also YouTube channels out there that say that they're teaching you magic, but a lot of them are actually exposing magic because they are exposing magic tricks that they didn't invent. The only magic tricks that anyone can give away for free are the tricks that they invent themselves. Anything else is considered to be unethical. It's not illegal, it's unethical. You shouldn't give away a trick that isn't yours unless you ask the creator permission, okay? So never tell the secret. All right, so those are the three rules of magic. Never tell how a trick is done, never perform the same trick for the same audience, and practice, practice, practice. Like I said, all of those rules are set up, put in place so that we don't expose magic. A magician keeps secrets, a magician doesn't tell secrets. So think about that. Think about who you are as a magician and your own character, and think about how you are helping to preserve the secrecy of magic.